Okay, I just arrived, but I don't have to go in for a few more minutes. I just wanted to get this thought out there. Oh, let's see, where do I start? I didn't rehearse this, you know, I want this to be as random as possible and unrehearsed and just my thoughts as they come out. To start the thought, I read a story recently. It's a pretty famous story, it's called Jekyll and Hyde. Mm, suddenly I forgot who wrote it. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, Jekyll and Hyde, kind of everybody knows the story. There's sort of two people inside of us as humans. You know, we have the, the persona that we are maybe most of the time, especially in public, and at our jobs and with our kids and things like that. And when we go into a store, we're mostly one person, but sometimes Hyde comes out. I wanted to talk about that just a little bit. You know, there are times when people get frustrated and you can handle it any number of ways. You know, if you're Dr. Jekyll and you get frustrated, you might handle it a little bit different or if different than if you, you know, allow Hyde to come out. Now, I think swear words are magic as far as releasing anger and built up frustration and tension. My mom used to say that swear words were just a noise. It was just a noise and it didn't matter, you know, what that word sounded like. It was just a noise. But if you try it and you force out some swear words, kind of like just randomly, like somebody with Tourette's might, how much more cathartic that is than if you just scream. Now there's some catharsis that comes out with a scream too. And I would say that that's probably a big reason why I like to listen to bands like Metallica and Five Finger Death Punch and Avenged Sevenfold and Rush. You know, when I was growing up, we could listen to The Carpenters or, you know, Barry Manilow as time went on. There's, you know, country music. And that's good. And it's fun to listen to and very enjoyable. But the hide inside wants to listen to and scream the vocals with the high intensity rush that goes on with some of these other bands that I like to listen to. And when you go to a live concert show and you are able to participate and be part of that music and scream, there's absolute magic in it. Especially if you have a situation in your life Let's say if you might have a job. Let's say you might have children. Maybe you have pets. Maybe you're married. In any and all of those situations, traffic. You know, there's situations that come up in our life in all of these things where there's frustration and comes with that, what comes with that or sometimes comes with that frustration is a need to release that frustration and sometimes anger that you can't really acceptably do when you're Dr. Jekyll. So if you allow so if you allow Hyde to come out there can be some amazing catharsis go on. I bought a DVD. I don't know if you can see this. It's called The Zen of screaming. I saw this, I had to have it. I just started watching it, but it's a voice teacher instructing vocalists 
how to scream without ruining their voice for the rest of their lives. Especially for these heavy metal bands that scream nowadays more than the old days. You know, I go to a concert and I scream the whole concert and my voice is destroyed for several days sometimes and my ears too, but how to scream without destroying your vocal cords. Anyway, I'm super excited about it. I love to scream. It's very cathartic for me. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. Okay, that's it. I gotta go in.